Senator Tommy Tuberville blocking hundreds of military promotions over the Pentagon's abortion policy. It's where we start. I'm Kenesha Dees. This isn't the only dispute between Tuberville and the Department of Defense. He's also tied up with the Pentagon over the future of U.S. Space Command as he fights to bring the headquarters here to Huntsville. Fox News correspondent Madeline Rivera explains how more than 250 promotions have been impacted. <laughs> A military farewell to General David Berger, head of the U.S. Marine Corps. After more than 40 years, he wrapped up his service. I'm grateful for all the Marines I got to serve alongside. But Berger's ceremony was not only a celebration of what he's done, it was also a reminder of what his departure brings. For the first time in more than a century, a Senate-confirmed commandant won't immediately succeed him. Smooth and timely transitions of confirmed leadership are central to the defense of the United States. Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville is blocking hundreds of military promotions over the Pentagon's abortion policy. The Defense Department allows service members time off and travel reimbursement if they need to go out of state for the procedure. In an opinion piece published by the Washington Post, Senator Tuberville argued his hold is not affecting military readiness, and some Republicans are backing him. We simply cannot have the federal government subsidizing abortion in this country. But others don't support Tuberville's approach. Holding uh, these military personnel who have nothing to do with policy in order to try to dictate a policy change is not the best way to go about it. On Tuesday, the Senate Armed Services Committee will hold a confirmation hearing for the next Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman. It's another position that could go unfilled when General Mark Milley retires in September. In Washington, Mallory Rivera, Fox News.